What's up? Sam Shuey here. I'm here with Ensemble Connect at Carnegie Hall, and today we're collaborating on a pretty epic mashup, some Beethoven meets Beyonce. A huge thanks to Google Arts and Culture for setting this collab up, because I cannot wait for you to see the result. This is going to be some pretty cool music. Stay tuned. So excited for today. It's gonna be amazing. We're just getting ready. The ensemble is trickling in. We're gonna start rehearsing the arrangement. It's gonna be great. So Google Arts and Culture got in touch with me and said, we want to set up a collaboration between you and Ensemble Connect at Carnegie Hall. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. In addition to giving regular recitals here, we also are involved in engagement and teaching artistry all over New York City. Oftentimes, we're, we're playing classical concerts, classical music in a very formal concert venue. And to break out of that box a little bit, get a chance to do a music video with a YouTube celebrity, right? It's, it's something a little different. You guys let me know what the best way to sort of like approach figuring this out and rehearsing it is. If we want to do it section by section or whatever is most obviously organic to you. I'm just singing, so I have the easy job. A bunch of options in here to skip or not skip. Is there a way that we go directly from the end of the Moonlight Sonata section into Ode to Joy, do the hold up Ode to Joy and the love on top, mm -hmm. and then go into the... Nine two. Yeah. So because yeah. If we see, uh, it's around measure one thirteen. Yeah. Uh, that would be our transition to Ode to Joy from Moonlight. Love it. So we initially went back and forth, and we're like, what would make sense to do? And I, and I think the idea of mashing up some really familiar classical works with something more contemporary seemed like the way to go. The ensemble mentioned that uh, next year actually is Beethoven's 250th birthday. And then the question became, well, what do we want to mash up with Beethoven? And we wanted someone who had enough works that it could kind of like be this whole epic combination. and. Beyonce came to mind. You know, I actually think the pun of Beethoven was the first thing I thought of. And then I sat down and like made sure it actually could work and make sense. What tempo are we getting to? Is it like? For uh, the da 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 That part? Yeah. Or uh, for for the pastoral. Um, pastoral, yeah. Leo here actually came up with the initial idea of a uh, uh, combination of the Pastoral Symphony by Beethoven and Irreplaceable. Like, like, coincidence, right? it turned out that Sam had had the same idea. To the left, to the left, everything you own in a box to the left, in the closet, that's my stuff. If I bought it, please don't touch. Once we settled on that and the ideas started flowing, we were like, oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be good. You got me looking so crazy right now. Your love's got me looking so crazy right now. So crazy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> do you want me to sing through, or should I let you do a full? Nice. nice. Then, then question number one: Are these the when we hit those non-Beethoven chords? Are those fermata as well, or are those in time? After the ba da da dum bum bum two three four da 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 ba ba da ba ba da ba da da ba da bi bi da da da. I knew on the Beethoven side, I wanted to sort of hit those, the most iconic, like the fan, dun, 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 the fifth, or Fear Elise, or Moonlight Sonata, these things that everyone has definitely heard. And then on the Beyonce side, I kind of had the idea to do an evolution of. So starting at her first solo single, which is Crazy in Love, all the way to Formation, which was on her most recent uh, Lemonade. And then am I sort of cueing this, mm -hmm. presumably? All my single ladies! <laughs> all my single ladies! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and eventually got to sort of a rough arrangement of how the different songs interplayed and sort of transitioned into each other. And then once I had that, I sent a really rough demo to um, the members of Ensemble Connect. From that, 
demo, we, we split up the ranging duties, and then over a couple late night sessions, all together, we hacked out some transitions and put the score all together. We have you know one of each family here, percussion, winds, brass, mm -hmm. strings, and so it kind of made sense mm -hmm. as to where we divvied that a, a little bit. Right, mm -hmm. and for my section, I wanted to play some timpani in this project, so I wrote some crazy notes in there. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like the, the sections that we each chose to work on, it kind of displays our strengths and, mm -hmm. and what we're good at. We wrote what we wanted to play. Right. Yeah. Up to you. I feel like some percussive element could be yeah. nice there because so. the, the rest of it is so percussive and I feel like maintaining some kind of groove just so we don't lose the okay, cool. momentum of that. I was actually quite nervous until the moment we started playing and it was just so much fun. Yeah, really exciting to, you know, come up with solutions on the spot with this team. Like everyone is bringing to the, the table a lot of great ideas in the moment and uh, it's just pretty exhilarating. That's yeah, great. and bringing themselves into it, that's the wonderful yeah. thing. Yeah. That mm -hmm. It's not just that the four of us were arranging and Sam mm -hmm. had the master plan, but it's everyone's really bringing their own. Even looking at a score is one thing, and you're like, okay, that's how that's gonna go, but actually hearing it is a whole other animal. So I was just excited to, to get into the room, actually meet these guys in person because they're so talented and to hear this piece come to life. so much for watching this little behind the scenes making of. Now that you've seen the work that went into creating this collaboration, go watch the actual video over on my channel. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did making it.